I will totally recommend this game because I have played so much, but it isn't for all. It can be quite tasking to figure out scenes like docking to craft, getting a probe to Sergia, do it due to height insulation relative to the home planet, or even getting craft ability in Luna on a correct return trajectory back to the home planet. Hello, you watching our new channel, so guys, please don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Forget about trends within with a space station in lunar orbit. I do it frequently these days, but it requires knowing when your launch window and then making the correct adjustmental burns in road to align your fluby trajectory close enough to the station orbital plane, the TNU, then rendezvous. I had to rail on a very bad basic knowledge orbital mechanics, but I have already learned it in game previously and some good old triggering around in the game to get that point. There isn't a lot you can do in this game, but unfortunately there are also in a lot of good tutorials or videos out there, at least not that I have found. Most of how I learned to play this game was from just tinkering around in the game to figure stuff out and many searches online for information on and how accomplish certain tasks. I'm sure there is a good number of players out there like myself who have figured out how to do it all their nice things. Just none of us are writing detailed tutorials or hosting a YouTube channel to explain all these new players. It's the one thing the game is really missing. I would like to preface this by saying that I have played KCP to almost save six, seven thousand. Hours. I have done everything in KSP modding, interstellar colonization, using kilometer long starships, complete with docked starplanes. Everything. It must be noted that there are any impressions after this in only 2000 to, to, into simple rockets. Bear with me, this will be a long but comprehensive review, and I will be not able to include any salts in this review. The craft editor is very innovative and much more in depth than KSP is almost sad. Like, you can make anything and more, which is done providing the player with highly can be dream you probably make. You get a couple pre built rocket engines and jet engines, but you can customize the engine cycle, not geometry, no length, chamber pressure, and all of this has actual performance impacts. You can only create any fuselage or rocket body. You can see out of simple cylindrical fuel tank. Lights and functional robotics are included, procedural wings and structural panels, cargo boys, customizable landing gear of airspace, planes, and landers, rover wheels, power full RCC structures, pods, docking pods. Simple Rockets 2 is a game with rockets in the title, however, Juno does not stop you there. I will compare CR2 and KSP aerodynamics model. Each is distinct, but I prefer CR2 over KSP. KSP's model you can craft, you will build experience unspressable amounts to drag no matter how you shape it with extremely frustrating times. KSP has no concept of conclusion if part of occluded and not in free stream covered by a cargo boy or behind another part of the track for this part is still applied. This year two community is very small, but there is a craft sharing functionality built into the game and planet making studio. Modding support is very limited at the moment. KSP's modding community is a huge compared to CR2, also CR2 players base has made a lot of cool content and it is a lot more skilled than KSP's. CR2's performance is phenomenal, compared to KSP I can have over 3000 part craft running on my screen and not uh, less any FPS, part craft rounding around 60-70 FPS or more. If you try the modded 30,000 part of KSP, you wouldn't even get a lost loading screen and if you could, a stock craft would rate 8 FPS. On my modded KSP install average 5-6 FPS. Thanks guys for watching and bye.